Warm greetings, Your Excellency, President Paul Kagame, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Dr. Ted Ross, Director General WHO, Honorable Ministers of Health, Dr. Moeti, Regional Director of Africa, Distinguished Partners, Participants. My sincere thanks to the Government of Rwanda and our partners in uniting to combat NTDs and roll back malaria for inviting me to address this milestone event. Like you, the Southeast Asia region is 100% committed to ending neglected tropical diseases and has been since 2014 when it made eliminating NTDs and other diseases on the verge of elimination of flagship priority. Since then, we have seen incredible progress in our region, including the elimination of at least one NTD in more than 50% countries of the region. In 2016, India was declared yours free. Maldives, Thailand and Sri Lanka have eliminated lymphatic filariasis as a public health problem. Bangladesh is preparing a dossier for elimination and Timor-Leste is under post-treatment surveillance. Nepal and Myanmar have eliminated trachoma as a public health problem. All Kala Azar endemic districts in Bangladesh have achieved the elimination target and India and Nepal are on the cusp of achieving the target for elimination. On malaria, the Southeast Asia region reached each of the time-bound milestones for morbidity and mortality of the WHO Global Technical Strategy. Amid the COVID-19 response, Maldives and Sri Lanka maintained their malaria-free status and Bhutan, DPR Korea, Nepal, Thailand and Timor-Leste from our region remain on track to achieve elimination by or before 2025. Two key factors contributed to the achievement of these milestones. First, political commitment at the highest level. A good example is the Southeast Asia Regional Kala Azar Elimination Initiative launched in 2005, for which Ministers of Health signed a Memorandum of Understanding to cooperate and jointly achieve elimination targets. Second, strong and sustained partnerships, including for research and innovation, which has facilitated the rapid translation of research findings into policy and practice. I commend Member States on their tremendous achievements and also thank our many partners and friends who helped make this possible. Member States are both drivers and beneficiaries of progress towards the 2030 goals. Country ownership is essential to achieve them. At the same time, countries alone cannot achieve all. Rather, Continued commitment of resources from countries and partners is essential, particularly in the last mile of disease elimination. A regional framework such as the one for Kala Azar elimination can offer a mechanism to enhance country leadership, share knowledge and coordinate efforts to tackle common cross-border challenges. A partnership to foster continual innovation can help translate research into action, bringing policymakers and health professionals together to understand programmatic gaps and identify innovative solutions. Greater collaboration among and beyond malaria and NTD programs to increase multi-sectoral collaboration can strengthen health systems, benefiting all areas of health. 
No person or community can be left behind. The COVID-19 pandemic has underscored the urgent need to address the social, economic and commercial determinants of health and to achieve health equity, imperatives that are critical to the battle against malaria and NTDs. I congratulate honorable dignitaries and participants on the launch of the Kigali Declaration and I'm honored to be included in the 100 global leaders that will champion its delivery. Together, let us end the cycle of neglect for every community, everywhere. Thank you.